hello again it's april here and welcome back to another video today i've got some new art supplies that we're gonna try well they're not new art supplies but they are new colors and uh, i'm gonna be using the strathmore mixed media sketchbook which i haven't used for so long the last time i used it was literally to do the last swatch video so these are all the swatches from um these guys the new ones that i got last time and I guess we're going to add to it, so that'll be good. I do want to kind of keep it like a separation though, because I'm thinking after we swatch these, I can do like a sketchbook page just with these colours. So I want to keep a little bit of separation. But basically, I got some new Tombos, these guys. I got a lot more greens, because I've been around... I basically, I need greens and blues in all of the colours, because I just don't have enough options. So I got a few greens... A couple of blues and I got some other like or orangey ready colours. Those are the three colours that I've been kind of missing. And I also got some more Caran uh, Luminance pencils. So this is my little current set that I have. And I do like it. I have used a lot of the pencils and they're quite down to almost a quarter size. So I got some more ones. I also got some more green, some more blues, and some more oranges. And I also got another yellow. And then lastly, I got three more uh, Neo colours. I didn't get many of these because I really do have a lot of colours. These are all the colours I have. I just was noticing that I didn't have a nice dark green. I only had these dark greens, which are quite um, saturated. Uh, this one here, this one here is like almost a uh, blue-green. And this one is like a dark green, but it's still quite saturated. And I wanted more like muted one. So I ended up getting the moss. I think this is moss. Yeah, moss green, which I think will go really nicely with the um, olive that I have. And then I also got a light olive, which someone suggested in a uh, live stream. So I'm excited to try that one. I got another yellow too, because the only yellow I have is this one, which is like the default yellow. And I thought this one would be paler. It is a little bit paler, but I guess we'll, we'll see. So those are my colours. Uh, let's swatch them out then. Oh, I really need to finish this sketchbook because I started it in June. And I'm only... Well, I've got about half of it left. But I've been working on other sketchbooks in the meantime. I don't know if you guys like that. If you flip between different sketchbooks. Because I just can't seem to work on one at the same time. Alright, let's uh, try and do this in some kind of order. That looks good. And then we can kind of see them also in relation to these guys up here, which would be nice. So I don't know why, but I've just got so much fluff on my sketchbook. Okay, okay let's do zoom your zoom so we can see the, the colours. And I do have the names of these. I'll write them down after. This is 757 though. They don't write the name on the pen lid. They, uh, on, they don't write the name on the pen. They just put it on the invoice, which I have next to me. This is like a really lovely maroon. I really wanted a colour like that. Because the only reds I have is this bright red and this pink. And then this was meant to be a coral. Whoa, that's really cool. It's a little bit bright. But I do like it. And then this is like a neutral, I think it's like a pinky colour. Okay. Here we go. Lime greeny colour. That's really lovely. So I use this colour a lot in with my pencils and stuff, so I thought it might be nice to get a Tombow like that. This is like going to be a pale mint colour. It's like this one here, but a little bit darker, a little bit greener. And then I'm hoping this is like an olivey colour. Yep. This is a similar colour to the warm grey, but more green. So I like that one. And then we got two blues. Let's see if we can fit them on the, this line. It's a darker blue for dark stormy skies or night time and then I'm hoping this is a pale blue oh it's a little bit too saturated for my liking I kind of want to get like a pastel blue almost like this one here but in blue well, I guess that's kind of like the similar hmm this is more too purple to me though I kind of want this color but paler so the pencil is very light um i can find this pencil we've been packing up everything and i don't have many art supplies left so i have this 2h which i think is the lightest pencil known to man but this one's port red coral flesh which is still has my vote for the worst color name ever chartreuse mint dark olive navy blue and light blue so i think this is like a really good palette 
right now. I mean, I'm quite happy with this. Apart from this colour, I think it would be nicer, a little bit paler. But that's why I like mixed media, because then I can just put something over the top of that, like um, a paler blue uh, neo colour, and then that would just be, be like a base, which is nice sometimes. All right, let's do the pencils. Right, let's organise. I don't know if you guys do this when you uh, do your swatches. I just have to have things in some it doesn't have to be like in a rainbow or anything just kind of in some order that makes sense in Dan Throne Blue gosh oh, some of these names are quite hard like for me for a lay person oh I like that these colors I did have on my wish list some of them uh, a few of my ones on my wish list aren't available right now so I had to, I just basically went on and just picked some colours that I thought looked nice. I don't know, I was in a spending mood. This is another blue. This is like a really deep midnight blue and this is more of a, it's like a Prussian blue. It's a Prussian blue, oh my word. Maybe I am an artist after all. Okay, so this one is genuine cobalt blue. Oh, this is the colour I was hoping that Tombow would be. This is the colour I've been looking for. <gasps> I love this colour. This is like my favourite colour. I was hoping, my favourite colour blue, I was hoping that my paint the other day, when I got the cobalt, it's this one here, yeah, this was what I was hoping this would be. It wasn't though, it was too dark. But yeah, that's the perfect blue. If anyone knows a paint or a crayon in that blue, let me know, because that is the blue I need in my life. Okay, this one here is dark sap green. This one looks so nice. And I need this for trees and things. Oh, I love that colour. This one is going to be a little bit more saturated. It's a uh, dark English green, but I was kind of looking for mid green. Yeah, it's quite nice actually. It's not too saturated. Um, I was looking for like a mid green because the only one I other green I have is this one here. I have this here, which is also really nice. It's the chromium oxide green. And then I have <laughs> the wee diddy one, olive yellow. <laughs> I've used this one the most. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> so cute. I need to buy another one of those soon. Uh, right, let's move on to the yellow. So I don't. I do have a yellow. I have this one here, which is uh, medium cadmium yellow. But I kind of wanted something that was a little bit more closer to nature. So this one's like kind of like a gold so let's skip to the back and we'll just do a test because sometimes I found this yellow was just too bright like you don't really see that yellow much in nature and then next to it you can just see how this one's a lot more a lot more muted I really like that that's nice I like both of them but that's nice oh this is so annoying I've got four colors left but only space for three. <laughs> oh, I love this color I love all of these coral colours. I think this is my favourite. These are my favourite colours right now. This is apricot. I'm not a big fan of apricots in real life, but that's a beautiful colour. This here is also gorgeous. It's the dark cadmium orange. And this would have been perfect for all those autumn image pictures I've been doing uh, recently. But unfortunately, autumn's almost over. <laughs> it lasted about a week. It literally took so long for the leaves to change. And then they all changed. And now all the trees are dead. Um, right, so this is Russet. This is a really lovely one too. I'm really happy with all of these, um, this whole colour range here. I think this is really nice. And then last one is this kind of like, almost like a clay colour. Like, if that's how I can think to describe it. It is Burnt Sienna 10%. Oh, what a beautiful rainbow of colours. And then obviously I still have all of these. Maybe I'll do a page just for myself. Uh, with all of my colors i want to do i should really do a page of like all of these my crayons my tombos and my paints and not have them in a sketchbook because i always just have them in a sketchbook and then it's really difficult to like find them again but the problem is i hate loose paper lying around you know so okay i'm just gonna quickly write these names down and then lastly of just these three colors which won't take long at all uh let's start so we got the moss green which is really nice and I when I was first watching these out I was doing like a little bit of water with them but honestly I just don't use them with water anymore so I mean I guess I could start again but 
oh I love this colour here I actually just recently saw Natasha Newton do another swatch video and she had just bought these as well these two colours so I kind of already knew what was coming but it is nice to see them in real life as well and then this one here is the yellow what is this one canary yellow what a lovely name oh look how bright that is it's bright but it's also a little pale i'm just going to do another little test on this page so we can kind of sometimes i just need to do this to make sure that i'm not going crazy and the colors are different from each other so this one here is the medium yellow i think oh this one's just called yellow and then this one here is the canary yellow it's such a slight difference it's honestly so slight i don't even think it makes a difference i don't even think <laughs> I didn't need to get this yellow look at her, look at the difference between them there's a slight the slightest di like honestly the camera's not even picking it up it, the slightest difference it's like it's like two percent paler but ah at least we've got two yellows now I have to draw lots of pictures of the sun I guess okay so we got all of our um swatches swatched really nice and I'm actually going to be popping over into the sketchbook here which is the etcher sketchbook and i've only got two pages left so i can find them this was my last uh this is the last one i did i really like it and i'm going to be drawing on this page now which has a few little marks from other pages but that's fine and i'm really behind i'm like six days behind but it's fine i didn't do anything last week Oops. I didn't do anything last week. I didn't even take any photos. I didn't. I literally just worked and packed and that's it. But I did go for a lovely walk yesterday and I took this view. It's not like ama that amazing. It's just uh, the path that goes up and you can see all the towers here in Barossa. And there's even the BT tower in the background and all of the plane trails across the sky. That's really cool. So yeah, I think I'll just draw this one. I think it might be good because we do have some browns here and some greens <laughs> um we got some blues so that's good yeah that's what i'm gonna do that's my plan and i think what i'm gonna do is chat with you while i'm drawing because that's always easier to edit i've got my coffee here i've got about 50 minutes to do this video before i need to get ready to leave the house so let's just um we're gonna make this a speed one guys speed painting speed drawing with april i'm going to london today to see to meet uh in real life rosie from pin and co and jess from jess was here which would be awesome uh i know why well, i speak to both of them online but never met them in real life and i figured better go see them now while i still can while i'm still like in the area so that is what i'm doing today gonna go get the train go to london and then i think we're gonna go to a bunch of art shops which will be awesome because i love art shops <laughs> even though i literally just bought these new um art supplies but hey it's fine mine says i'm not allowed to buy anymore because we're moving and he doesn't want to pack anymore but i'm like pencils don't weigh that much you know it'll be fine so i thought i'd better catch you up on what i've been doing because i haven't actually been around for three weeks this is like this if this week will be the fourth week so i didn't post videos for three weeks and uh, there are reasons. So I went to, Matt and I went on holiday, some of you may know. Um, if you follow on Instagram, I did some photos and stuff. And we went to uh, a place called Jurassic Coast. Okay, so guys, I'm basically gonna use just the new materials. So just so you know, they're all here beside me, you can see them. Uh, I'm gonna start with Tombos. And then we'll go over, the only problem is I just realised, I don't actually have, I may have to cheat, because I don't have a nice white for the clouds. So I may have to cheat a little bit, so I'm allowed to use, <laughs> I'm allowed to use these materials that I got today, but I'm also, I'm giving myself the, I'm allowed to use that blue for the sky, because otherwise it's going to be too bright. And the white for the clouds, okay? So a little cheat, but it's fine. Did I go with the wrong blue? Should I have gone with this one? Ooh, yeah, I should have. Oh uh, yeah, me and Martin went to the Jurassic Coast for a holiday. It was really lovely. I didn't film a video that week. And uh, I, I do have a video in the works right now, but it's only like half edited. And it's probably gonna go up on Patreon next month as a travel video in my lowest tier, if you guys wanna check that out, but that won't be for a while. 
and it was really cool we did lots and lots of walking it was quite tiring didn't realize how unfit i was until we had to do all of these hill walks up and down upstairs and over styles and <laughs> it was awesome though like the views were amazing it was so worth it to do the walks like the hard parts of the walks just to see the um all the views so i do want to do a video for that soon not a travel video but like an art video where i look at some of the pictures and um i'll show you tell you a little bit about the trip and uh draw draw some stuff i do have a few on instagram that i drew on location but i kind of want to do more of a deep dive into into like the trip which would be cool so we did that and then i got, uh, i was feeling a bit sick the last couple of days of my holiday like i could feel a cold coming on you know like the sinuses and the you know just the bunged nose and stuff and i thought it was just a combination of uh traveling you know like not sleeping in your bed we didn't have very good night's sleeps because most of the beds were quite uncomfortable and we were doing lots of walking guys and we were probably eating really like we were eating really bad because a lot of the places we went to were like small seaside towns much and i are vegan and <clears throat> they don't really do vegan down there at the moment they do gluten free which is great for everyone that that suffers from celiac disease but they don't do um they don't do vegan so we basically just lived off chips uh which isn't the healthiest by any means but seaside chips from seaside towns is amazing so i wasn't like i wasn't mad about it you know so i thought i was just getting sick because of those a combination of all of that stuff and uh, it turns out, uh, when I got back, I had COVID. I felt quite bad, like with a cold, like just a cold. I have it now, you can probably still hear it. The cough is lingering and the sore, the, not the sore throat, but like general breathing stuff. You know, you know how it is. Didn't do a video that week because I was feeling really bad and uh, I just didn't really do anything. I just kind of like laid around, watched television. And then last week, uh, we got some very good news. Some of you guys may know that we are looking to move we've been looking to move for a while i don't really talk about it much on youtube i think i've mentioned it a couple of times but we're looking to move to the lake district and we have been traveling up and back a few times and we had have had really bad luck every place that we try and uh, apply for we haven't been getting so we were kind of almost at the point where we were gonna give up and then we got some very good news that we got a house that we had looked at online and we haven't seen it in real life so a little bit nervous but we only saw it we saw it on a virtual tour and then also we saw it with the dude like the dude took us around with whatsapp and then we they also have like a 360 view online which has a really good view of every room you can kind of rotate around look at everything and they also had a a floor plan so i feel like we've had a really good look around the place even though we haven't actually seen it a bit nervous you know just because you never you can never be sure or certain but uh we got that news maybe a week and a half ago and then we had to wait to see if all our references checked out and they all did which is good but basically the last week we've just been packing and i've been working like work it's getting really busy i've been i've got a few projects on the go and they're just getting a little bit busy now so yeah i just haven't been around much um i packed up most of my art supplies so pretty much everything's gone apart from the main stuff that i use which is on this desk and <laughs> all the sketchbooks i'm using now which is like a lot of sketchbooks guys like i'm using maybe five or six sketchbooks not all not like a lot but i do have them on the in ro on the rotation i'm really excited i can't wait it's gonna be amazing um hopefully and i'm gonna be doing a probably a studio tour uh it won't be for a while it probably won't be to the new year because we don't have any furniture like this place is bigger obviously because it's a house we're, we're in a two bedroom flat right now and the place we're moving to is going to be a, um, a three bedroom house and Marsha and i are going to have an office each which will be cool so both working from home and uh yeah i'm going to have a little room for my studio which will be nice but we don't have anything yet like this is going to be a bit of a mess while we're putting stuff together so i probably won't be out for a while but i am super excited about it so i just wanted to update you on that i'm always like a little bit concerned when i do these especially the tombos because with the paint when you do the layers you can kind of see yeah that's um that's gonna work you know but with the tombos <laughs> everything just looks it looks like a toddler went at the page with 
you know, vigor. All right, so that was step one, is the, this. Uh, I was contemplating using some water and making it wet. <laughs> That's what water does, just to kind of blend it in a bit. But honestly, I am really low on time. So I'm going to not, and we're just going to kind of work it out and I'll be fine. All right, so next step is uh, putting the pencils in. So I've got a few different color options, which would be good. Let's start with the greens, so we can do like the trees and stuff. So I'll probably bring in this really dark blue as well. I don't have a light green actually, which if I was using all my pencils, I could definitely use this one here, which is the middle verdigree, but I'm already cheating, so I can't, I mean, can I just use everything? Is it okay? No, let's not do it, April. Don't be a cheater, April. Okay, so literally I'm just gonna be scribbling now for like half an hour. Uh, I'm still working on my landscapes. I'm still not super happy with them. Uh, like this, for example, <laughs> it's just a blob right now uh, where it really should look like a clump of trees. So I think I definitely, I definitely wanna do a lot more work with my landscapes, but I'm just happy just drawing in my sketchbook right now. I do have that landscape course that I have been taking. Um, I'm only like, a couple of hours in and the whole video itself is like 50 hours so guys there's a lot of work to do on it but I'm gonna try and fit that in maybe over the Christmas period here and there I've got like two almost two weeks over Christmas I think it's 10 days so hopefully we can do some stuff then that'll be cool <sighs> all right so the problem is I just I put down stuff too dark and now I can't I don't have anything light to put on top and it's just gonna look like a big blob, like it's not gonna look any really good. I might have to bring in the other colours to save the day. I might just have to bring in this colour. <laughs> and this one. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's my sketchbook, I can do what I want. Oh, I love all these shadows too. I just realised, because it was late afternoon, we got all these shadows going across. Which is definitely gonna be cool to do. But apart from packing and moving, the only other things I've been doing is playing Animal Crossing, which came out, which I started the island, I restarted my island like two weeks ago, I think now. So I've been playing that like every day for an hour, which has been quite fun. And also, I haven't been doing anything with Etsy. I'm thinking about doing like a little plan over Christmas for Etsy, because I'm kind of, I don't know, I just kind of like definitely fall into the, the wayside. And I feel like, I haven't been given it any attention for the last few months. I've been focused on other things. Like I just really wanted to get back into art. But I also feel like I want to start now getting back into Etsy. I think that'll be good. So I think I'm going to... Over Christmas, literally, guys, everything's happening over Christmas. I'm doing all my courses over Christmas. We're furnishing... We're, like, putting together the new house over Christmas. I'm doing all my Etsy. I'm making my website. Like, literally, none of this is going to happen. I do this every year. I give myself all these plans for Christmas. Like, because it's the one time of year I have a lot, like, a lot of time off work. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do everything over Christmas. And it's going to be awesome. I'm going to get so prepared for the new year. The, the new year isn't going to know what's hit it. Um, and then... And then I just don't because I'm like, it's Christmas. I'm just going to relax and enjoy myself. So I have a lot of plans to do. We'll see what happens. We'll see what gets done. It would be cool to get my website up because I definitely, I have been paying for a website. I, I paid, I started paying for a new one. I did this last time. It was so annoying. I did it on, I think it was Webflow, which is like a make your own website kind of thing. And I was paying almost a year for it and I didn't put my website together. And now I'm doing the same. I got a WordPress theme and I've been paying to have like the WordPress um, thing and I haven't done the website and then I was thinking maybe I should do Squarespace because it's I was kind of against it because I tried it last time and I didn't really like it like I didn't like the I didn't like how you can really customize it but then I was like I'm never gonna I'm never gonna have time to do this stupid website so I might as well just do like a Squarespace template and just shove it on there and just you know just so I have something because I have on all of my stickers and like everything, I have like my website there and I don't have a website. Like if you go to my website, you will not find anything because there's nothing there. 
and I really want one like I want to start looking for freelance stuff and I just think I just really need something that isn't just Instagram like that's more curated you know because in Instagram I know some people use their Instagram almost like a portfolio and it's like this is all my best stuff but I use Instagram like this is I just use it I just try and I just I'm trying to use it for almost like a, a digital sketchbook like this is what I've been working on this is what I'm learning right now and it's not polished at all like if you go to my feed it's such a mess like you know how people are like you're gonna have a good instagram food mine isn't it's, it's completely chaotic i'm not very good at taking photos to be honest i'm too lazy to take good photos <laughs> it's the other people's photos and i'm jealous sometimes i'm like i can do that i can make good photos but i just uh i'm just too late i'm just ugh. there's just so much other stuff i want to do that isn't taking photos you know uh, I have a boyfriend who's getting into photography and even he doesn't want to take my Instagram photos. <laughs> so, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing on here? I don't have the right colours really at all for this. Um, it's going to look a little bit weird, but I think it'll be alright. Can I have a little bit of faith in yourself, April? See, like that colour, I think now that I'm using that in combination with other colours, it's just too like blue green I like the more yellow greens I think but this is a blue green too so now I'm confused I think they're both blue greens I think I need another yellow green like this one here but like a darker color yeah I'm not really sure what I'm doing sometimes I think trees and stuff are like my nemesis this is my nemesis because I'm just not very I'm not very in tune with trees and grass and stuff hills hills are fine hills are easy because it's just a hill. Uh, what else is easy? Skies, I guess. Pretty good. Trees. Uh, I think a single tree is fine. It's just when they're all clumped together like this. I find it extremely difficult. Like, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Everything it just gets really messy. Alright, so I've got the sky <clears throat> colours. I'm going to put this bluish colour in. as kind of like a... Um, to tone it down a little bit and then what we're gonna do is just go over with some water I think will be good I'm not sure if this is gonna work um I haven't done this before but the the Tombows underneath are also water soluble so I'm gonna be mixing the Tombows in with the Neo colors which I have never done before so this is gonna be interesting and really I mean you can't actually tell where the sky is and where the clouds are now right let's get some water it's dirty water but that's fine here we go. I mean, the worst that happens is, you know, it's it doesn't really work. And then we just come up with a, diff a different solution. But I think this is going to work. I can al already see it going, going a little bit paler. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it actually looks quite nice now. And this paper is so amazing. Like, this Etch a Sketchbook is so good with water. I can go over a couple of times, you know? Like, we can do this and then we can go over again with the neo color and blend it in more and it'll be fine like it's so good with water it's crazy good 100 percent cotton and i think i may have to buy a couple of these again um this was a present from one of my patrons and i have loved it so much but i think they've actually ruined me with sketchbooks because now i literally just want to use this sketchbook all the time because it's so good for um wet media and I think because this was a present, I didn't feel so precious about it. Like, which is weird, because you think that you would feel precious about something if it was a present, like, more than if you'd bought it yourself. But I think because it was a present, it gave me, like, the, um, it gave me the permission to, like, use it and just not worry about it. Because sometimes when I get really nice sketchbooks, and I'm sure this has happened to you, I just don't want to use them because I'm scared. Because they're so pretty. But uh, yeah, this one is, is awesome. I just, I love it. And I, I have got a couple of sketches in here that I'm not really happy with. This is probably one of them. But um, overall, I think I've got some really nice pieces in this sketchbook. So look, I'm just dabbing away the excess. The excess. <laughs> I, I don't know how to speak. I'm dabbing away the excess. <laughs> and look, it's actually really nice guy now. Sometimes I feel like this is like a really backward way of working. It's like you put on so much stuff, you put on heaps and heaps of material, and then you literally take it all off again. But it does leave like a really nice texture, and I just kind of scrub at it. Probably shouldn't you be using this 
this paintbrush to scrub. This isn't a good scrubby paintbrush. I like this paintbrush. And then you take it all off and it's like, okay, um, a bit backwards, but I think it does actually help a lot with the texture. I mean, look at that. That's a really cool texture. And the good thing about this too is I'll be able to do the pylons now, but um, I, I think I need to do the clouds as well. I don't know what I should do first, clouds or pylons. I almost want to go through and do the same with the trees and stuff. Um, not not as crazy, just like maybe... I know there's pencil on here, but I'm hoping that I pick up the Tombow behind it. I don't know if that's how art supplies work. Sometimes you make a big mess, but it is all a bit experimental, you know? And it's good. Sometimes it's good to be experimental and other times you make a big mess. But I mean look, I'm just kind of scrubbing away the, the I'm scrubbing the water and then picking up the Tombow behind it but it's leaving the pencil. And it looks, I don't know if it looks better, but you can definitely see, you can definitely see like what I'm trying to draw there now. Instead of like a big blob that I was before. Oh, yeah, I like that. You did good, April. Well done. Okay, I'm gonna leave that to dry and then we'll come back and keep going. So I got my really dark pencil here and I'm a bit worried about the pylons because I did do them... Did I do them in this sketchbook? No, it was in the other sketchbook and I did draw them a little bit wonky. <laughs> so, But I do want to put the pylons in because they are very... I'm just gonna go for it, guys. You, sometimes you just... You can't hesitate, you know? Um, I do want to put them in because the pylons are a big part of Barossa, like the walk. So basically, there's this BT Tower, which you can, which I'll pop in in a sec. But the BT Tower connects all these pylons together, and then these pylons run down. Uh, sorry, just concentrating, and I just realised I put that in the completely the wrong place. Whoops! This is why I didn't want to do it because <laughs> I'm not regular, like <laughs> I'm not regular being um precise. I'm not regular being precise with things like this. Um, yeah, so the pylons basically run all the way down. Oh, guys, this is so bad. Doesn't look anything like it. It's meant to be a triangle. Do you think I can rub it out? No. <laughs> you cannot rub it out, April. <laughs> oh, this is why I'm scared to do the pylons, guys, because I'm really bad at stuff like this. Like, I'm just not, I'm not mechanically minded at all. I'm just gonna have to. So yeah, the pylons they run. I'm trying to say that sentence for like flipping ages. They run down uh, the center of of Barossa, right, which is the nature reserve. And you'll probably see it a lot in my a lot in my videos if you see them. I I we go there a lot. We go there pretty much every day. And. When we first moved, we got so lost when we went to Barossa because it is quite big. Like once you, when you go there for a while, like you don't realize it doesn't feel big anymore. It feels small. But when we first started going there, it felt really big, and we used to get lost a lot, um, which is really funny to think about now. And the pylons really help because they run down the center. So if you can, if you're lost, you just keep walking and you'll eventually find them. And then they basically will take you back to the car park so like you'll be able to find your way out right so yeah things like this wires i mean i think they look really nice if they're done well the problem is uh, i'm not very good at doing them well um this is really bad <laughs> it's cool it's cool you know what it's like uh, it's like a little bit of personality you know I mean, we don't want them to be perfect. It's really boring. Can you hear Martin? He's like dying, sneezing, sneezing fit. Um, I just realised there's like paint on my iPad. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> Wowza! And I did say I'm giving myself permission to use whatever colours I want. Definitely try and use these guys though the most, and then I'm probably gonna bring in maybe a little bit of um um a grey, maybe this like a peachy colour. And probably a dark colour like that. I'll try and minimise it guys, but I can't promise. I just love these guys so much and I think they really help fix mistakes and stuff. When you've made the mistakes. 
what can I say? I'm just, I just love colour. When I was younger, I was obsessed with clouds. I kind of still am obsessed with clouds. But when I was younger, I was really obsessed with clouds. And I think I, I wanted to be a cloudologist, which I don't even think is a real a real profession. I think it's like a meteorologist, right? Or something. Someone who deals with the weather. But I just wanted to just know clouds. And I tried to learn all the cloud names myself. The only ones I remember is Cumulus Nimbus and Stratus. And uh, what's the other one? Contrails. That's what the planes make. Contrails. And Martin jokes that I literally all half the photos in my phone are just um, pictures of clouds and sky. Because I will, if I see a nice cloud, <laughs> I will just take a photo of it. Like sometimes I just take a photo of the sky just because I like the clouds. I will bring the uh, sky into the trees there if I can. I might have put too much cray in here already. I think I have. I'm gonna see if I can put some sky holes in, but I think I've put too much cray in there. Ta -da! Is it finished? I don't know. I think we need some little darker bits where the shadows are in the bushes, just to kind of give it a little bit of grounding. I mean, the problem is with the landscapes is I just think structure is my main problem. Like, I just, I'm really bad at structure. Like, if I was to just show this to you without sh showing you the photo and say, what's, like, this section? Like, what's this? I think it'd be really difficult to, like, know, oh, this is, like, a grass, like, a dried grass fern area, you know? Because it just looks like just a blob of colours and there's no real structure there. I think that's my main problem right now like the main thing I want to figure out but I just need to practice rather than just do like sketchbook stuff I actually need to like properly sit down and like focus but until then 2024 um we'll just continue doing this and maybe we'll learn organically you know all right I think that's it I I'm calling it a day mainly because I need to go get ready for my train uh, tell me what you think. It isn't my best. I think this one I did yesterday is a lot better. Just this one here. I mean, it's a lot brighter, that's for sure. But it was fun playing with my new, my new pencils. And I'm really excited now because I've got a lot more coloured pencils in my coloured pencil set. So I think this is going to be a really nice palette. And I'm going to try not to buy any more of these pencils. I mean, I'm going to London today to some art shops, so I'm um, no promises. But I think I want to try and draw with these first and then see which colours I need. And that's it, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed the little sketch and the little catch-up session. Hopefully I'll be back next Monday, but it is really busy around here right now, so I can't make any promises. But I'm sure I'll see you around the internet. Have a lovely rest of your week, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.